Yes, I think that um, girls of all faiths should be able to observe their faiths uh, and be able to do that in school. So it seems to me that it's it's not a good idea to say that somebody would have to leave school because of that. Um, she was simply saying, this is my faith, this is what I believe in, this, this is my culture, um, and I think she should be supported in that. Camden School has shown how it can, can be done. You can do it without calling in police officers. You can do it in a quiet, dignified, but firm way. I so admire them. Multiculturalism was never meant to mean, I'll do whatever I want and you do whatever you want. Nothing, no society can keep together on, on that basis. Even the headscarf has nothing to do with the Quran at all. These are impositions that have come later and have become very sort of fashionable now. Quran does not say cover your hair. It does not say cover your face. It says cover your bosoms and lower your gaze and dress modestly. Um, the Quran does say about to dress modestly, but there's all the hadiths that we follow, which are the base of how our Prophet um, lived his life. And that's what we follow. And it's like the woman who were, who was around, they used to dress in that sense with the hijab. They didn't wear niqab. And the argument about wearing a niqab is to cover your face so other men don't see you and they don't get attracted to you. Even if she actively uh, chose to wear the niqab, the meaning of the niqab is abhorrently sexist. It says a woman's eyes, a woman's hair, a woman's um, showing who she is in the public space is a menace to men. It's yeah. not sexist because the Quran tells men first in the Quran to start yeah. to cover themselves and then it tells women to do so, so it's not sexist. Yeah. And it's covering different parts of our biological bodies. They're very different. You don't yeah, see you can different. see men walking around wearing shirtless and you can see, you don't ever see a woman walking around shirtless. They were wearing bras. That you should be allowed to vote if you want, like you should be out of your own choice. Because, to be honest, like, wearing a niqab doesn't stop you from speaking, expressing yourself. So, I don't think it makes a difference if you wear a niqab inside school, so I think you should be honest. But I guess we understand where school is coming from, yeah. like, you know, your body language and how you communicate with Maybe facial expressions. expressions yeah. But then again, you've got your hands, and so if you are confused, you put your hands up saying, no, so I'll mess, I'm confused. No, but much of communication between teachers and students is through facial expressions. Yeah. Like a teacher can tell when a student's confused by looking at her face and like, so do you know, do you need like me to re-explain that? Yeah. Or if you've got the niqab on, you sort of can't, you're sort of presenting a barrier between that student-teacher relationship. I think it's an individual and their relationship with God, and so it has nothing to do with culture. Culture's like completely different to how someone chooses to dress. And Before this, I talked to one of my friends who does wear the niqab, and I asked her, um, why do you wear the niqab? Like she goes, at first, she wore it because her friends wore it. It was a practice that her friends wore it, they said, oh, let's wear it. And they went to Islamic school, so it, was, it worked out and they wore it, and she's happy with it now. But when she started wearing it, she didn't wear it for the Islamic reason. My objection to what has become called multiculturalism is that the respect for diversity has tipped over into a place where we, keep, we start putting people in boxes and we don't just respect their difference, what we do is we require them to be different. The school has to make a decision about whether uh, somebody having their face covered interferes with the, you know, the process of learning and teaching. Now that's, you know, that's a decision, decision for the school, but I would say probably, if I were the head teacher, I would probably say it will. I'm not sure